All right, guys. Well, it's barring day. So, got a little bit of a dilemma I noticed right away. Um, Evan did the steak pockets, put them back on, folded them all up. Everything looks good. Uh, while he was doing that, I'm working on removing the bearings to see if I can repack them or I have to replace them. And we, we got a little dilemma here, guys. It looks like at some point on this spindle, um, a race may have gotten stuck on here and gotten beaten off. Um, we got some uh, marring on here, as you can see. Can you zoom in on that, Ev, the camera guy? Yeah, I'm zooming in. See that, the striations here? Um, it looks like some dimples in here. Um, here's my problem is that, so this is the bearing that came off of that side. That's technically the driver's side, but remember the trail is upside down. And it does have a marking on it. It is stamped. Um, 30205A, okay? Now, the front bearings are not stamped. I noticed that. So when I took off the, that's why I'm glad I marked right rear, left rear. Uh, when I took off the right rear bearing, I noticed it's got a different stamping on it. Uh, this has a stamping of 44, uh, I believe it's 543. Um, this bearing, when I took it off, it's got a lot of play in it here. It does not look like the correct size bearing that belongs on here. Uh, my deduction to that is that when they went to replace the bearings from this race getting stuck on here, they marred it up so much that they were not able to get what should have been the... Um, right size bearing. Yeah, the right size bearing um, on there because of the gouging and these striations. See here, now this is the one that came from the right side. When I go to put this bearing on here, it won't go. I think that's the right size of bearing. I believe it is too, Ev. I think this is the right size, and I think because of these markings that are on here, they put a larger bearing on there to slide over. So that's my problem. Now, uh, I need you guys to chime in here a bit on what you think, uh, what suggestions you might have for me here. Um, because I don't know if I needed to replace this axle now, which it's, I can't find this axle. Um, and remember I mentioned earlier, these are two inch leaf springs. All the new ones are inch and three quarters. Um, this would be a real dilemma here. If I have to replace this spindle or this axle, it's going to be a real bit of a nightmare. So, um, or do I just stick with buying a slightly larger bearing, sliding it on? Now, my question is, is. Does that make a difference inside the hub here? Are the bearing sizes going to be the same? Will they interfere with the size of what's got to be in this hub? See, this is uh, off of the driver's side. This is kind of icky in here. Oh. Well, this sits in here pretty good. I guess the outer diameter doesn't really make much of a difference. It's the inner diameter of this bearing that we got to be concerned about. What do you guys think I should be shaving down this um, spindle a little bit? To take off some of this uh, dimpling that's here. I don't know. Leave a comment, guys. Let us know what you think. Uh, give us some suggestions here. We're going to run the tractor supply to see if we can at least um, get that side. Um, and if I have to buy a slightly larger bearing to accommodate this, uh, this here, that's fine. The only thing I didn't like, there was a lot of play in that bearing. It felt loose over here. Um, everything else seemed, seemed fine. I bet you a race got stuck on here, Rev. That's a race right here. See in here, this metal bevel, that's what they call a race. These are pressed in the hubs. And when this accumulates too much heat, it becomes seized on here and the hub fails. Hub falls off or shears off. And now you're stuck beating one of those races off that's kind of welded to it. I bet you that's what happened here. So anyway, leave a comment, guys. Let me know what you think. Evan, the cameraman, and I are gonna go hit a tractor supply to see if we can find at least one of the side bearings. Um, we're gonna post this up now so we can get some comments, hopefully in the next uh, hour or so before we um, make our trip. All right, guys. Bye-bye.